hello welcome back so in this video we are going to change add book from content so now let's just change it so replace name to book name and change password to book author name and do it then add ISBN number, general and publisher. So as I have already typed in that, so just copy and paste this. So as here you can see, I have added book name, book author name, ISBN name, general, publisher, and one button, add book button. And before everything, I have just added a form tag. So in this form, I have added an action, action as book, add book then method as post so once you submit this ad book it will be redirecting to book ad book router with which has method post so one more thing to notice is i have added na name parameter name parameter actually holds the values which is actually sending from the client to server so when you are accessing any request on the server you will see this name parameter as a json format json object so which is actually present in the request body okay so now restart our application and go to book slash add book so as here you can see we have some changes to our form so when we submit that you are as you can see we are getting not found because the post method is not available to our server so just go to routes book route and in the index as you can see we don't have any post route for add book so just add it route slash post add book function request response and just console dot log request so now before moving forward we just have to you know parse the request which is coming from the front end to the back end so to parse any request we will be using body parser so just install body parser so npm install body parser so let's see the documentation so as you can see we have installed body parser so now let's move to the, the documentation. So here it says that body parser is used to actually hand uh, parse the incoming request. So now let's go to example. Copy this one and paste it at the very top and then use it to our application so copy this one as well and go to before any uh, routes we will just paste it so as you can see body parser dot url encode which is actually used to send any files like image file zip file or any type of file this one is used to send any files and this one is used to send any names value which actually as we have seen already this one okay so go to then again move to book route and just parse request dot body okay now let's start our application again then go to our form and just refresh it 
and just type some values. So my favorite book, author name, J, ISBN, some values, Jainer, comedy, publisher, test. And when you submit this, we will be, you will be getting some output to our server. So as you can see, we have received some JSON object. Okay. So this is actually request.body as we have written here. And one more thing to note is this one is actually not going forward. This one is actually waiting for this operation, this one to finish. So we will be see, uh, we will be handling this type of uh, problem in the next video. So thanks for watching. So, uh, 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 to uh, the uh, on the book endpoint, it will be using the book router. On the slash endpoint, it will be using index router. So that's it for this video. See you in the next.